Hey YouTubers, how you doing today? Uh, first off, I want to wish everybody a, a happy new year. I hope 2018 uh, treats you well. I uh, hope it's a blessed year for y'all. Uh, just wanted to give you an update on the 50 gallon cube. Uh, it's been almost a year since I posted the first video on the Reef Breeder uh, Photon V2 uh, LEDs that I've been running. Uh, if I remember right, I think I had a rainbow uh, anemone uh, in the tank and that was it. All the rocks were looking pretty pretty bare and uh, white. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I had, had fish in that video. Uh, fish wise right now I've got an Ocellaris clown, a clown tang, a yellow watchman goby, and a uh, firefish. Um, Coral wise, I I don't I'm bad with names, so I'm not even gonna attempt the name. I know I've got some uh, frog spawns and some uh, uh, hammers. Um, I believe a green um, green stylo and a purple stylo, and I got a rose bubble uh, an enemy and a rainbow an enemy. Um, got some mushrooms going in there. Um, and I love that that orange uh, short tentacled uh, plate coral that I got going in there um, but the reason for for this video like I said I wanted to give you an update on the lights um, I have made some changes to the to the light program um, and I think it, it has benefited the tank uh, my corals aren't growing exponentially now they're healthy they're you know they're maintaining but they're not doubling tripling you know in in size and numbers and I'm okay with that because I'm getting ready to to uh, gut this tank probably in the next month or two I'm going to be setting up a 210 gallon salt and so most of this almost all, well all of this is going to end up in the 210 gallon tank and this is going to become a quarantine tank uh, so but on to the lighting uh, like I said, I, I've made some changes to the to the lighting schedule. Um, I'm really pleased with it. Um, it may not be the be all end all light schedule. There may be changes to come. Uh, now I had mentioned in in the previous video that I'd been messing around and, and, and playing around with different uh, lighting schedules and parameters. I cannot take any credit for this particular one. The, this one came from a local fish shop uh, here in San Antonio. It's called the Salty Aquarium. Uh, Terry, uh, the, the owner of the store, uh, hooked me up with this light schedule uh, with all the, the settings for each of the light parameters. And, you know, I gotta give him props, give him credit where it's due because this is his work. Um, but everything's doing great. I, I Now, I don't have a whole lot of uh, algae problems um, and I'll be honest with you guys part of that is the lighting and it, another uh, part of that is I'm running a Kato reactor so um, take that however however you want um, I got a little little algae in the sand but the cleanup crew the snails and stuff go through and and clean that up pretty good um, so that's that's the tank let me spin the camera around and show you guys the the schedule all right so that's what it looks like and I'm gonna zoom in I'm not gonna make you do all kinds of crazy crap with your with your uh, YouTube but that's the linear uh, what my lighting looks like on a linear chart and here are the numbers let me let me zoom in for you real quick alright center it in the, in the screen there so I think you guys should be able to see this alright so my lighting kicks on at 6 a.m. and it's really low uh, dark blue and purple come in at 1 and it slowly ramps up and the other light spectrums turn on uh, throughout the morning uh, it hits its peak between 2 and 3 p.m. 
Uh, the highest setting I go on whites is five. Uh, between the dark blue, light blue, and purple, 48 is the max. Now my light is about a foot above the water. So I mean, if you have your, your light hanging higher up than a foot, you know, you may need to go with more intensity. So kick that up to 50 or 60, you know, play with the numbers and make it work for you. So like I said, we start at 6 a.m. and it hits its peak at 3 p.m., 4 p.m., I'm sorry, 4 p.m., and then it starts to ramp down. Um, and then by 10 p.m., uh, at, after 10 p.m., lights out. That's it. So from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. It might seem like a long light schedule, but like I said, I don't have I don't have any significant algae problems in the tank. Um, corals seem to be holding their own. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Now I'm gonna spin this back around to the to the tank and talk a little bit about what I'm what I'm going to attempt to do with the 210 I got a, a couple of options I can get um, a four foot uh, photon v2 and run that by itself or I can run it in conjunction with the 16 inch Photon V2 that I have, or I could do um, 3 16 inch. The 210, is, the top of it, the tank, is divided into thirds by the, the little black uh, plastic retaining ring. And so I could suspend or, or, or even use the aquarium mounts, you know, three lights, one to each of those three sections. Uh, what I would like to do, and it, it doesn't really benefit the, the fish or the corals, it's just more for for me looking at the fish tank. What I would like to do is stagger, have them all on, say, as an example, each of the three lights is on a 12-hour uh, schedule. But what I would like to do is stagger when they kick on uh, by 30 minutes. So the first light on the right would kick on, and 30 minutes later the middle light would kick on, and 30 minutes later, you know, the third left light would kick on, and then uh, to simulate the sunset, then have the one on the right uh, start dimming, and then 30 minutes later the center one start dimming, and then the one on the left start dimming. Uh, I'm going to reach out to reef breeders and see if they have any recommendations on on how to do that. Uh, some people that I've spoken to that own multiple uh, reef breeder lights uh, what, have said that when you use that remote, what you do to one light, it affects all the others. So, you know, between me trying to figure it out and me reaching out to, to the folks at reef breeders, you know, I'm sure we can figure something out. I think it'd be pretty cool to, to simulate sunrise and sunset with those lights. So... But that's what I got. Those are my updated settings. Um, there's going to be more videos to come uh, as I'm setting up the 210. Um, so if you'd like to, go ahead and, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. But if you didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, if you didn't like the video, please post on there what you didn't like about it. If I speak in a horrible monotone or something like that just let me know and i'll try and work on that okay all right like i said before you guys have a happy new year take care